Okay, so yesterday I scanned in that little case and now I'm going to import that case in. So I just created a file. I'm using NX12 here and um, I'm just going to go file, import, STL, and that guy right over there. I tested out a couple of different formats. If I do a high definition export, you'll notice it's a huge file. There's like I don't know how many points, almost five million points or vertices on that little case. So it captures an incredible amount of data. But uh, I decided to go with a low def representation because um, I actually wanted to be able to use it. So here I have uh, a, a lower definition of the thing. And again, it's a simple shape, so I don't need that much quality in the actual scan data. So I'll just import that in leave everything as is, hit OK, and it just crunches away. And it'll give me a little report here in a second. Actually, it's over here. And as you can see, I still have a lot of facets on a small little part. I have over 500,000 facets. Before, that was almost 9 million facets, which is, for that small part, utterly ridiculous. But, uh, that's my facet count, hit OK, and now I'm just going to fit the model in, and as you can see, there it is. Now, uh, where it's at relative in space, I don't have any markers or anything uh, to be able to go in and say, hey, this is going to go to add XYZ or the absolute of the component, so it just, it has its own tracking location in space, so it brings it in, and now it's up to me if I want to move this to get it to uh, something somewhere closer to, let's say, my absolute origin, something that's actually usable. So for that, you know, you can just pick it, and I'm just going to move it, just control T on the keyboard, and this just allows me to take it and move it from where I want here. So I want to take this, and I want to say I want to move it to there. And now, I can begin, you know, if I if I if I true this up, uh, let's do that. All right, I can begin right, something like that and get it kind of close to where it needs to be. Let me just hit my apply for now, and then um, object to transform, same thing. And all I'm doing is just getting it kind of close to where where I want it to go. So um, I'm eyeballing it, plain and simple. Go like that. Yeah, something like that looks good. A little bit more. Pretty close. Let me apply that. I'm moving the original, not a copy of it. And I would just go back and forth with the move command and uh, get that pretty much sweetened up exactly where I want. Okay, so, um, oops, there we go. So, you know, if it's, if it's off, I'll, I'll take it and gun sight it or uh, level sight it down to, let's say, the bottom edge of the screen like that. And that looks pretty good there. And then off to the right edge and off to the left edge, that looks pretty good there. So I just use the edges of the screen to sight this thing in. You know, zoom up on it and move this out of the way to sight this thing in and, and get it pretty close to what I want. Put that in, as you can see, it's still off a little bit in one vector, so I just I can click on that and then type in an angle increment, for example. Whatever that angle increment's gonna be. Whoops. Helps to pick my part. And I'll just say minus one and just work with it and again I'm just eyeballing it and I'm not gonna do this the whole time for the video but once I get it pretty close to where I want or exact as exact as I can get it because it's a convergent model in NX I can do things like trim bodies because it's a symmetrical part that because it's again a convergent model and then here I can start out with a sketch and do some extrusions and throw some surfaces on it but 
Um, right now I'm just testing out the data as it brings it in, verifying that it's clean. NX does a good job of bringing that data in and um, basically no issues. So I'm very happy with it. So far the, the data that's coming off of that turd table is again, it's, it's beyond uh, accurate and it's absolutely beyond um, the limits of what you would need as far as density of points from a scan. So um, bringing it into NX, absolutely no problems. Does a great job. Uh, thanks for watching. If you learned something, like the video, uh, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you don't already, and uh, I'll see you soon.